Hello my dear friends, welcome to a new video. Today I will explain tetany. Tetany is a condition due to hypocalcemia. What is this hypocalcemia? Low number of calcium in our body is considered as hypocalcemia. So before moving in detail about hypocalcemia and tetany, let me just discuss what is this calcium. So what is this calcium? Calcium is an essential mineral in our body. And the calcium is divided into two ionized calcium and non-ionized calcium. Calcium is divided into two ionized calcium and non-ionized calcium. Okay, so now the body rule of calcium is majority calcium. 99% of calcium is found in the bone. And this particular calcium is helping the bone to be strong. Okay, upon calcium in the bone is helping for strengthen the bone and teeth. Fine. So majority of calcium, that is almost 99% of our body calcium is found over the bone. And 1% is found over the cell. And 0.1% is found over the extracellular fluid. Okay. So e extracellular fluid is all the calcium. And we will divide the calcium which is binding with the albumin or plasma. Calcium is binding with the organic and non-organic iron and to free calcium. And the other thing is that total calcium is 99% calcium born in the world. 1% of calcium in cell and 0.1% is found over the extracellular fluid. This extracellular fluid is all the calcium. It is a small amount of calcium. But though that is a very small amount, it can be divided into again three albumin which is uh, the calcium which is bind with albumin or plasma calcium which is bind with organic and non-organic ions and free calcium and this particular free calcium is considered as ionized calcium so the connect free calcium e calcium is extracellular fluid in all the 0.1% point of calcium free calcium ana, and that calcium is considered as ionized calcium. In the ionized calcium, non-ionized calcium is the difference in the Non-ionized calcium is commonly found over the bone. And the protege were a function of the This bone is a calcium. Bone is strengthened chain. That's right. But the very small amount in the free calcium ana, Responsible for muscle contraction, blood coagulation, nerve conduction. Okay, what is the amount of free ionized calcium is necessary for muscle contraction, blood coagulation, and nerve conduction. And so, I have muscles in the contraction of any help in coagulatory factor, factor number four, I tell you. And nerve conduction or impulse transmission. So these are the functions of free calcium. Okay, valerie chari amount of free calcium on the free calcium on chargeable and ionized calcium on and that is necessary for all these main functions. So you can just remember three C's. Okay, up a calcium level in our blood that need to be maintained. It is very important. So, any nana in the body, calcium level is normalized. So, the in the body, calcium is normalized. Suppose, calcium is normalized. And the body is normalized. Hormone stimulated. So, any hormone is stimulated. The body will produce parathormone. What is this hormone? Yes, parathormone is a hormone by parathyroid gland. Okay, that is necessary for calcium and phosphorus metabolism. Okay, so this parathormone will stimulate and it gives a signal to the bone to release calcium from the bone. Okay, so parathormone stimulated on you. Our parathormone bone in the signal group. To release calcium into the blood. When calcium level comes down. 
ओके कैल्सिटेड आवन कॉमन बो पैरा कॉर्बन स्टिमुलेटेड आवन एंड इट गिव्स अ सिग्नल टू द बोन टू रिलीज कैल्सिट फ्रॉम द बोन टू द ब्लड ओके सो दैट इज हाउ द कैल्सिट इज बैलेंस्ड ओके इंगेरे कंटिन्यूअस आइटम नाम दे रही हूँ कैल्सिट इंटर आवन पूर्व सो बट द कैल्सिट लेवल इंक्रीजेस व्हाट हैपेंस इधर पैरा कॉर्बन का एक्शन में तो द कैल्सिट कॉर्बन बना ओके नेक्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन कैल्सिट डिक्रीजेस ओके सो सॉरी कैल्सिट इंक्रीजेस कैल्सिट इंक्रीज आया है ना संभव के लिए इट रिलीजेस कैल्सिटोनिन कैल्सिटोनिन इस अपार्मन बाय थायरोइड लाइट ओके सो इट रिलीजेस कैल्सिटोनिन Again, this particular calcium will also stimulate the bone to stop releasing calcium. Okay, calcium is our core number. Calcium is not producing it. Other bone and other signal will do to stop release of calcium. Okay, even method lana normal number of blood level calcium the balance is there. Okay, so many slides. ब्लड ले क्या आंसर थे रंडा ऐसे डिवाइड ही हुआ ना आयनाइज्ड क्या आंसर नॉन आयनाइज्ड क्या आंसर एंड जो नॉन आयनाइज्ड क्या आंसर में स्पाउंड जाओगे ना बोर एंड आयनाइज्ड क्या आंसर में डिस्कंसर्ड सफ्री क्या आंसर एंड दैट इस मेनली रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मसल कंट्रैक्शन नर्व कंडक्शन एंड ब्लड and 
check the hands and the finger will start to twitch or carpal spasm will happen. Okay, so BP coverage, kaila inflating your fingers and lungs twitch and it. Okay, so that is what it is uh, drawn there, but my drawing is not much good. Okay, so it looks like this spasm of the fingers and then go. Okay, if that shows, yeah, if there is a sign, this particular finding, if it is present, it is indicating that patient has hypotensemia and shows you sign is positive. Okay, so either and do physical examination step size you know, considering the or a physical examination finding, it is very very important. Okay, so signs of hypocalcemia, it is important. And see, you have to assess the signs of hypocalcemia because all of these signs are considered as a lethal complicatory sign. So you have to identify the signs in advance and then treat. So before treating, you need to know what are the causes and underlying cause need to be treated first. So we will see what are the reason or causes. Okay, so the causes like electrolyte imbalance and pancreatic disorders, parathyroid disorders or hypoparathyroidism, renal failure and botulinum toxins and decrease their magnesium level. I repeat, the first is electrolyte imbalance. Electrolyte imbalance always changes the calcium level in our body. And pancreatic disorders will reduce the calcium absorption. And hypoparathyroidism, it releases or it decreases production of parathormone and it always alters calcium and phosphorus metabolism. And kidney failure, a kidney is necessary for activating parathormone. So if kidneys fail, or ultimately parathormone activation is decreased. Okay, for the hour point here. And the kidney fail of the parathormone stimulation for again and the calcium in the absorption and altering which is. Then botulinum toxins again alters the absorption of calcium. Okay, or metabolism of calcium and then decreased magnesium level. These are the causes. So how do we manage? The number one management is identify the cause and treat. So initially you need to identify what are the causes, then treat the underlying causes. Okay, and number two, you have to prevent getting complications like respiratory complications and cardiac complications. You need to closely monitor the respiratory rate and cardiac function. So you can attach the patient with a cardiac monitor and you can monitor arrhythmia or ECG and your respiratory assessment it is very very important. And even you can keep a tracheostomy set near the patient's bedside when a patient has severe hypocalcemia. And treat the uh, hypocalcemia that means you can replace calcium. Calcium can be replaced through food or supplement. Calcium can be replaced through the food. Food then there, that is calcium rich diet. See, whenever you give calcium as a food, you have to give vitamin D also. Because vitamin D is necessary for the metabolism of calcium. Abo vitamin, uh, sorry, calcium rich diet, vitamin D should also provide with calcium. Okay, so uh, identify the cause and treat the cause and then uh, replace the calcium level or replace the calcium through food or supplements. Okay, and identify the signs and symptoms and manage all symptoms accurately. This is how you can treat tetany. So please remember tetany is by hypocalcemia. So whenever a patient has hypocalcemia, the patient may develop tetany is characterized by tingling sensation, numbness, spasm in the extremities and laryngeal spasm and breathing difficulty. I hope all of you have understood and please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Always stay blessed. Thank you.